Hello guys, so as students and professionals in this medical field, we are constantly bombarded with a vast amount of medical information that we need to retain and not only retain, we even need to apply in our daily practice. Now it can be overwhelming and also challenging to keep up with ever growing body of the knowledge. So in this video, we will explore some effective strategies and techniques that can help you to remember the medical topics more effectively and make your learning journey very very smoother okay so let's get started so the first method which you have to use is a repetition technique right so use this repetition technique because it is very effective for example let us say in a day in a complete day from morning nine o'clock till night ten o'clock by the time when do you sleep whatever it is right so in a day let us say you have studied eight topics okay now these eight topics you have to revise now how do you revise is that once after you understood the eight topics now understanding is different from reading okay so first what you do is you understand these eight topics now after understanding these eight topics what you do is that you read it 10 times okay the first step what you need to do you you have to read these topics 10 times with looking or without looking whatever it is right but the second step is right you have to say this topic as if you have to imagine someone is in front of you right as if someone is in front of you and you have to say the explain the entire topic to him or her okay and how do you do this you do this without seeing and how many times you do you do it 10 times now 10 times in the sense it is not like you read one topic right without seeing you explain one topic to an imaginary person sitting in front of you or really a person who is willing to listen to you right don't explain the same topic 10 times. So first finish up all the 8 topics. So that is one repetition. And after that start from the first topic. Again the second repetition all the 8 topics. And again the third repetition. Right. So don't stay in a single topic and repeat the topic 10 times. Okay. I hope you understood what do I mean. Right. So first is read 10 times. Then repeat the topic 10 times without looking at the material. Okay. And third important thing is write it twice. So read 10 times, say it 10 times and write it twice. So in this way, this is one of the effective way to remember the topic. Now, after reading 8 topics, you have done 10 times of reading. Okay, let us say without looking at the book, you have said the topic 10 times and after that you have written 2 times. But still, there are few students who lack confidence. What they think is that maybe randomly when you think of any topic, and suddenly you try to recall and nothing comes into your mind. You might think whatever I have done so far is waste of use. Right. But trust me and trust in yourself that whatever you have studied is already stored in your subconscious memory. Right. Again, when you go back to the topic, everything you can recall automatically. Right. So don't worry about that. Okay. And don't waste your time by sitting at a single topic again or reciting a single topic again and again. So after once the eight topics are done move to the next part of your syllabus. So this is the first technique that is repetitive technique. And the second important thing you do is that give blurting ego. Now what do you mean by give blurting ego is just it is a type of active recall. So let us say I have studied eight topics right now it is time to sleep. Now what do I do is that I check myself randomly I will pick up one topic whatever it is. Let us say I have studied eight topics in medicine randomly I will pick up a topic called diabetes mellitus right. Now, how much I remember about diabetes mellitus, how much I studied about that, don't think anything about that. So just open the book, right, pick up one topic, for example, diabetes mellitus and start writing everything that comes into your mind. Now, I'm not telling you to first you have to write uh, the etiology, then you have to write the pathogenesis and uh, you remember the treatment, but you don't remember the diagnosis. So you're stuck there, right? Don't do like that whatever you remember just write it down first you remember the treatment write it down first itself you remember let us say the, the diagnosis what are the diagnostic tools and all what are the diagnosis how do you do the diagnosis and all so just write it down don't don't think of writing in a serial order okay so whatever comes into your mind whenever you think of that topic so write everything of that down now compare that entire thing with the material which you have if you miss any points, so circle out those points and pay more attention and more practice onto that points. So this is one of the best method I'm telling you to be perfect in all the topics, whatever you have studied. And third important technique is 
Pomodoro method. Now, this is a very effective technique, guys. Even you know the famous entrepreneur that is Elon Musk, right? So even he uses the same method. Now, what is this method? Is that let us say you have chosen a topic. Okay. Now, after choosing a topic, what you do is that you divide this topic into four blocks. Okay. I have taken a topic, I am dividing the topic into four blocks. Now, each block, I will spend five minutes to study that topic. Okay. So, to finish up this block, I will spend five minutes. To finish up the next block, I will spend again the next five minutes. So, I have divided the topic into four parts. So, five fours are 20. So, within 20 minutes, I have to finish up the entire topic. Now, what I do is that I take up the first block. First block will be what? Definition, etiology, right? So, let us say the prognosis factors and all the risk factors. So, all these are there in the first block. So, I started studying within the first five minutes. Now, when you are studying, when you are using this block, when you are studying for five minutes, you should not get distracted. You should not look at your mobile, right? You should not look at your surroundings, anything, anything of that sort. Your complete attention should be towards that block itself. Complete that block for five minutes and after that, take a five minute break and enter into the next block let us say pathogenesis complete within five minutes take a break for five minutes again let us say the next block what will be the next block diagnosis i think right so diagnosis complete it in five minutes take a break for five minutes and again the last block the treatment part complete within five minutes now you have completed four blocks right now take a longer break and then again choose the next topic again do the same thing so in this way what happens is that you won't get distracted and you won't even feel tired, right? So you know that after five minutes, you're going to get a break, right? So this is what motivates you to study the next block. The next important method is try to use flashcards, right? For example, when I study, why I use flashcards is that, see, these, these are the flashcards which I use, right? So uh, any color of that thing you can, any color you can use that doesn't matter. But uh, why flashcards are very important is that, guys, when I study, for example, let us say I have taken a topic of urinary tract infection in children. Okay. Okay. I will study the definition. I will study the pathogenesis, right? I will study the signs and symptoms because these are the common findings which you will see. But when it comes to the diagnosis, right? The initial diagnosis which you do is obviously you do the urine analysis and all, right? You start giving the antibiotics to the child also, but still if the fever is not subsided, then you start doing ultrasound if ultrasound is not available the next gold standard thing which you'll be doing is micturating cystourethrogram now these things right what is the gold standard diagnosis what is the initial diagnosis right so what is the next step of management so these are some of the things which you can't remember okay so mainly the treatment part mainly the diagnosis part uh, these are the some findings and not only that there are some important signs okay for example, let us say there are important triads. For example, there is charcoal triad, right? So in the same way, there are different kinds of triads. And not only that, there are different kinds of scores also. Let us say Abgar score. Let us say Ballard score, right? So these type of things, right? At that very moment, you will remember it. But after three or four days, it will be difficult for you to remember. So what I am telling you to do is that once you study an entire topic, automatically you will understand what is the difficult part in this topic which part of this topic is taking more time to revise and recite. So that part I want you to put on the flashcards. Not everything. Don't put the definitions on the flashcard. Okay. So even it looks good to put all the things here, but don't put it. Only put those things which you can't remember, which needs more revisions, right? Even after revising also, still you can't remember. There are some blanks or lacunae within the topic. Only those things put it on the paper here okay and every day morning when you get up before even you go to your washroom the first thing i want you to do is look at these topics just for five minutes starting it can take 30 minutes but if you repeat this daily and daily this is what i do daily and daily i repeat it after one week or two weeks let us say the moment you get up and see yeah i know this abgar score i know what is ballard score right i know what is charcot stride okay what is the treatment of this what is the first line what is the second line so very fastly I'll revise and I'll go to the remaining works. So this is one of the effective way of revising the important things. Next important method I want you to do is that now this method which I'm going to tell you, you have to do it only 
when you have a lot of distractions let us say okay so what is this method is that this method is called as neil gaiman technique what is this neil gaiman technique is that first important thing take a book and a pen sit near the study table right you have to give yourself only two important options now what are those two important options which you give to yourself is that first option is either do nothing right either do nothing in a sense no studying no looking at your mobile no looking at the surroundings not even thinking of anything right absolutely you are you are empty just think that you are empty right don't think anything don't look at your mobile also don't operate it right D don't plan your schedules nothing at all so just do nothing that is the first option or the second option is writing okay so whatever you have studied just write it down okay so you have to revise within your brain at the same time you have to write it down whatever you are speaking within your brain so now while writing down also don't look anywhere don't switch on the tv right don't switch on the let us say ac the, the controls and all nothing so overall two options you have to give it to yourself when you sit at your study table the one is don't do nothing and obviously without thinking without doing anything simply sitting is like a hell it is terribly impossible and the second option you do is write down whatever you have studied so in this way this technique also will be useful for you and next important thing is that whatever you have studying make the notes okay now when i'm telling you to make a neat notes it doesn't mean that making the notes pretty right don't use colors don't use flowers right don't use designs now all these all these things are waste of time whenever you are making the notes make sure that you have a blue pen you have a black pen you have a red pen and you have a yellow highlighter these four are enough other than this no other color is needed and whatever important points are there right i hope you know what are the important points right so what are the important points are there always highlight it with the red because you know brain attracts mainly to the bright colors so this is how you remember the important points very easily okay and lastly i want to tell you is a technique called as 12357 technique you know what is this 12357 technique let us say today i have studied all the eight topics right now these eight topics i'll revise today how will i revise 10 times of reading 10 times of saying it and two times of writing it right now after i revised it the revise the same eight topics the next day also after revising the same topics the next day revise the same topics on the third day also okay so continuously for three days you will be revising and after that revise on the fifth day and revise on the seventh day okay don't continuously revise for all the seven days you have to give gaps in between okay so this kind of repetition is called as space repetition spaced repetition now this space repetition this is thought to be the perfect amount of time to help your brain to remember the information okay when you give spaces in between so these are all the important things as a medical student which you have to know to remember the medical stuff so i hope this finds very interesting and useful to you so if you want any other things which i want to make a video on so please feel free to comment below so that i will make a video on that topic also thank you so much for watching and goodbye